Today I'm going to show you how to make eight aggressive music video transitions in DaVinci Resolve. These are heavier, more stylized transitions. If you want to skip all these steps and save yourself some time, head to the link in the description to download my new aggressive transition pack. Let's get started. Camera shake. Create an adjustment clip over your cut point, lasting six frames long on each side. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, select Media In 1, press Shift Spacebar, search for Camera Shake, and choose this one. Hover your playhead to the cut point, go up to the inspector, increase the motion scale and speed scale all the way, keyframe them, hover the playhead to the start, change them to zero, hover the playhead to the end, and change them to zero. Increase the motion blur all the way, increase the pan, tilt, and rotation all the way, change the zoom type to outward and inward, decrease the randomness values all the way, change the border type to reflect, decrease the zoom to crop all the way, go up to spline, toggle on camera shake one, press zoom to fit, Highlight your points, and press S on your keyboard to smooth them out. Now just adjust the PTR speed to adjust the intensity of the effect. Punch in. Create two adjustment clips, each 12 frames long above your cut point like this. Select your first adjustment clip, go to the Fusion tab, select Media in 1, press Shift Spacebar, search for Transform, and add this one. Make sure the playhead is at the start of the clip, and keyframe the zoom. Now hover the playhead to the end of the clip and change the zoom to around 1.5. Go down to Animation, increase the motion blur all the way. Go up to Spline, toggle on Transform 1, press Zoom to fit, highlight the points, press S on your keypad. Adjust the graph like this. Now go back to the edit page, select the second adjustment clip, go back to Fusion, select Media In 1, press Shift Spacebar, Transform, and select this one. Hover the playhead at the start of the clip, keyframe the zoom and decrease the value to around 0.75. Hover the playhead at the end of the clip and change the zoom to 1. Go to Animation, increase the motion blur to around 1. Go to Advanced Options and make the edge behavior reflect. Go up to Spline, toggle on Transform 1, zoom to fit, highlight the points, and press S on your keypad. Adjust the graph like this. Now all together you end up with a transition that looks like this. Morph Cut. Create an adjustment clip over your cut point lasting 6 frames long on each side. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, select Media In 1, press Shift Spacebar, search for Displace, and choose this one. Now click an empty area in the panel, press Shift Spacebar, search for Fast Noise and add it. Connect this line to here, and press this little circle to toggle on the view mode. Increase the contrast all the way, uncheck Lock XY, now increase the X scale to 100, and the Y scale to around 4. Select Displace, go up to the Inspector, change the type to XY, increase the spread all the way. Hover your playhead to the cut point, keyframe X and Y refraction, change the values to around 0.05. Hover the playhead to the start of the clip, change the values to 0. Hover the playhead to the end of the clip and change the values to 0. Go up to Spline, toggle on Displace 1, select your points, and press S on the keypad to smooth them out. Twist Transition Create an adjustment clip over your cut point, lasting 6 frames long on each side. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, select Media In 1, press Shift Spacebar, search for Transform and select this one. Hover your playhead to the cut point, keyframe the zoom and rotation, increase the zoom to around 1.5, increase rotate to around 45. Now hover your playhead at the start of your clip, change the zoom back to 1 and rotate to 0. Hover your playhead at the end of the clip and do the same thing. Now go down to animation and increase the motion blur all the way. Go down to advanced options and change the edge behavior to reflect. Go up to spline, toggle on transform 1, zoom to fit. Now highlight these points, press S on your keypad to smooth them out. Twitch effect. Create an adjustment clip above the clip you want to add the effect to. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, select Media In 1, press Shift Spacebar, search for Camera Shake, and choose this one. Decrease the pan, rotation, and tilt amplitude all the way. Increase the zoom speed and zoom amplitude all the way. Increase the motion blur all the way. Change the border type to reflect. Decrease the zoom to crop all the way. Decrease the randomness values all the way. Further adjust the zoom amplitude to adjust the intensity of the effect. Invert Flicker. Create an adjustment clip over your cut point, lasting 6 frames long on each side. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, select Media In 1, press Shift Spacebar, search for Invert Color, and add it. Go up here to Settings, now go to your cut point and create a keyframe on Blend. Go a frame before and change the blend to 0. Go a frame before that and change the blend to 1. Keep alternating between 0 and 1 for however long you want the effect to flicker. Ending Shake Create an adjustment clip above your clip 12 frames before your cut point. 
select it, go to the Fusion tab, select Media in one, press Shift Spacebar, search for Camera Shape, and choose this one. Hover your playhead to the beginning, go up to the Inspector, keyframe them, decrease the motion and speed scale all the way. Hover the playhead to the end, increase the motion and speed scale all the way. Increase the motion blur all the way. Increase pan, tilt, and rotation all the way. Decrease the randomness values all the way. Change the border type to reflect. Decrease zoom to crop all the way. Now go up to spline, toggle on camera shake one, press the zoom to fit, highlight your points, press S on your keyboard to smooth them out. Now pull the graph points to look like this. Now just adjust the PTR speed to adjust the intensity of the effect. Twitch whip. Create an adjustment clip over your cut point, lasting six frames long on each side. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, select Media in 1, press Shift Spacebar, search for Camera Shake and choose this one. Go up to the Inspector, increase the Motion Blur all the way, decrease the Tilt and Rotation Amplitude all the way. Hover the Playhead of the Cut Point, increase the Pan Amplitude all the way, keyframe it, hover the Playhead of the start of the clip and decrease the Pan Amplitude to zero. Hover the Playhead of the end of the clip and do the same thing. Hover the playhead of the cut point, increase the PTR speed to 1.5, keyframe it. Hover the playhead of the start of the clip, decrease the PTR speed to zero. Hover the playhead of the end of the clip and do the same thing. Change the border type to reflect, decrease the zoom to crop all the way.